Memorials to honor those who died during World War I can be found in cities right across Canada. As we mark the centenary of the Great War, CPAC visits a few such monuments in Montreal, Quebec. And as is the case across the country, they remind us of the sacrifices made and reconnect us with important aspects of a city's history. Perched at the eastern edge of the historic Old Port of Montreal is the Montreal Clock Tower. Opened in 1922 along the St. Lawrence River, this federal heritage building is dedicated to Canadian sailors who died during the First World War. Also known as the Sailor's Memorial Clock, the monument's clock mechanism was made in England and is a replica of the Big Ben in London. At the outbreak of the First World War, all throughout the First World War, Montreal is uh, the country's largest city. It's its major port. It's the financial center, the industrial center. You've got thousands of men and women going off to Europe to fight or to serve as nurses or to run hospitals. You've got factories operating here for the war effort, people giving money uh, to help people ravaged by war in Europe. You've got monuments to those who've perished all around the island. One of those monuments is the Montreal Cenotaph in the heart of the city. Unveiled by the Governor General of Canada, Lord Bing of Vimy in 1921, this monument was inspired by the Cenotaph in London, England. It was dedicated to Montrealers who died during the First World War. This is a picture from 1916. These are reinforcements from the Black Watch Regiment, and they're about to head off to Europe. Uh, across the Atlantic, and they're lined up here for a sort of farewell photo. In old Montreal, we make another stopover, this time at Centre d'Histoire de Montréal. Guide Tyler Wood highlights part of their World War I exhibit. It's a small part of three floors showcasing important periods in Montreal's history. We tried to cover more than 500 years of Montreal's history in six rooms, which is no easy task. And of course, we do have a room devoted to uh, the early 20th century, and we talk about the impact of both World War I and World War II on this city. Part of exploring a city's impact includes exploring a city's monuments. Well, the Centre Mistral, the Montréal's mission, well, is to explain and help people discover the city uh, today through its past to understand how we came to be this way. About a 15-minute drive from the downtown core, we stop by the Monument aux Braves de Notre-Dame-de-Grâce. This four-meter-high granite and bronze monument, unveiled in 1919 in MDG Park, honors fallen soldiers. Our next stop is Windsor Station. The former railway station houses the Bronze Angel. This Angel of Victory is one of three in Canada. The other two can be found in Winnipeg and Vancouver. Unveiled in Montreal in 1922, it represents a winged angel raising up a young soldier to heaven at the time of his death. It commemorates the 1,115 Canadian Pacific Railway employees killed during the Great War. The First World War is such a cataclysmic event and impacts people here and around the world. Uh, communities seem to have no choice but to do something to commemorate, uh, especially those who fell in battle. The War Memorial of Montreal West, which opened in 1921, is in memory of the Sons of Montreal West who paid the ultimate price. Behind the statue is a wall of remembrance for the heroes of both world wars. Back at Centre d'Histoire de Montréal, Tyler Wood sums up why it's so important to share these accounts of our history. Well, the cliché is if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And I have to say, it's true. I mean, there's so many parallels that you can draw to what happened 50, 100 years ago to what's going on today. And it's worth knowing, not to mention it's part of who we are. And part of keeping our history alive as Canadians means remembering the service and sacrifice of all our military men and women. Reporting from Montreal, Quebec, I'm Heather Seaman.